When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? Every decision planning in this whole entire wedding needs to go through me, the mother root of everything. I want Moroccan food. I really want this. Like, I want it now. I'll take it for 420. Like, I want How this. Much? 420. I'll pay like almost half, 700 bucks. For no way. And my troop and I won't dance for. For nothing? Yes. David, it's 700 bucks. That's not nothing. Wait, where no, the I'm, hell I'm are not, you going? No, I'm not wearing this. Where are you going? There's like dog s everywhere. No, I don't, Wayne. Want, I don't want this. What, what are you doing? Wayne! Oh yeah. my god. Oh, I need a I new ring. I'm not talking to you. I can't believe you freaking did that. are a couple, both dressed in white. Weddings are dancers, meant to excite. Weddings are bells that can lead to a fight. Meet newlyweds Honey Lou and Wayne. Achieving their perfect vision meant negotiating the perfect price. Let's follow along and see if this couple can bargain their way to a wedding they can enjoy and afford. My name is Honey Lou. I'm a 24-year-old debt management expert. I met Wayne, a financial advisor, four years ago. I told him I had a boyfriend, but Wayne wouldn't take no for an answer. Eventually, his persistence paid off, and Wayne and I have been together ever since. This is a story of how I bargained my way to the altar. Our wedding day was classy. It was totally over and beyond what I've asked and imagined. It was absolutely amazing. I couldn't have asked anything more or less. You could have asked for more, but we could have paid for more, but it's okay. Their wedding day may have been amazing, but some of the moments along the way would be better described as shocking. Let's turn back the clock and see if this couple managed to create a splash without spilling their budget. Our expectations for a wedding planner is someone to kind of make my dream come to reality. That's exactly what I want and that's all. Meet David Valley with his 15 years of experience. David's got his work cut out for him with this bride who's big on vision and small on dollars. Can he keep her happy without yeah, blowing her well. budget? Not happening. Hold on to your pom-poms, Missy Manicure. Don't you remember about the $400 in clothing that you rented for your guests to wear if you don't like their outfits? What? Okay. Sorry? Now David is trying what? to stir up the pot here. My role as a wedding planner is to mediate, coordinate, bring all the elements together and put on a fabulous wedding. If the bride's a bit of a nightmare, sometimes my role as a wedding planner is to be a ringmaster and sometimes a lion tamer. I want you to tell me what you're thinking about for your wedding. Okay, I want something unique. I don't want your typical wedding day. I want uh, a touch of Moroccan. I'm. I'm all about the mystique of the whole Moroccan theme, so I want to incorporate that in there. Moroccan? Yeah. What are your guest numbers? About 250. Max, okay. yeah, max 250. That's like 250? maximum, yeah. Gotcha. Who's paying for the wedding? Wayne and I are footing all of the budget, okay. but um, a lot of it we're putting into credit. So... You're putting your wedding on credit card? Yeah. That's right. So you're gonna go into debt for this? Using a credit card for our wedding budget, we can accumulate reward points, which is going to help us further down the line when we're looking to take our honeymoon. What about the dress? I haven't found my dress yet, so I'm gonna look into it, but there's no way I'm gonna pay a retail price for my dress. So I'll bargain my way through it. Like, these dresses don't cost like $5,000. They're making like an arm and a leg, so there's no way I'm gonna pay, trust me. I am so frugal because I don't think I should pay for some of these prices. It's ridiculous, you know? The cost of these items are not what it's retailed to be. So I like to, you know, get my money's worth, but at the same time, I like the nice expensive things, but at cost. What are you thinking for decor? Well, for my decor, I want my hall transformed into the whole of Morocco. Okay. So I want it very Moroccan. I want Moroccan leathers, furniture, uh, whatever else is Moroccan. Fabrics, cushions, lounging, sexy. Exotic, very Exotic. mystique, contemporary, and just very... Full done. I'm yes. looking for full decor. More, more All traditional. Else. Full decor, All fabulous. Else. I think we should just stick to the banquet hall that we have because within that room that we've rented out, it's very nice. It's very traditional. 
It's okay, simple. I hate that still word. Classic. You have to stop. You have to stop saying traditional because I do not like traditional. Maybe we can bring in elements of both. We can have some sexy, luscious elements, but we can do them in a traditional way. Contemporary is traditional enough. What are you thinking in terms of the food? I do want to incorporate some Moroccan dishes in there. Maybe not a So you whole like Moroccan food? Uh, I haven't really tried Moroccan food, but it goes with the theme, so I gotta kind of be consistent. Anything entertainment inspiring for you? Yes, this is one thing we agree on, finally. Think, yeah, we can go with, um, I want some real sexy belly dancers. Sexy, exotic, erotic, bring something new to, to the wedding. How's your family gonna react to that? I don't care about that. He I'm wants sexy, about, exotic, but he wants the traditional home. But there's still something very traditional. It's very Moroccan. Sexy. Belly dance is very Moroccan. That's what I mean. Exactly. It's very Moroccan. So we have to go with the Moroccan yeah, theme. So rings. What's the style? What are you thinking? I haven't. I have the vision, but I haven't gotten him his ring yet. So I was thinking of something simple, nice, and, you know, wedding band. I, my, my band has to be fully blinged out. I want diamonds. I want two-tone. Well, I want, I want one. A, a nice, fresh design. Wayne, have you picked out something for Honey Lou? Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 got, uh, I got a very nice ring. It's, a, it's at the top of the market, so uh, it's a surprise, though. I'm going to keep it under wraps. <sighs> I hate surprises. David, one thing you should know about me, okay, please take your pen and paper and write this down, okay, in big, bold letters. Mm -hmm. I do not like surprises. I like to be kept in the loop at all times, always, okay? In the loop. I think I'm getting a sense of what you want. It's a pretty big wedding, 250 guests, glamorous, moroccan theme, yeah. sexy, fun, Love it. Yes. extravagance, yes. right? You're getting the point. All right, well, we have one major point to discuss right now, and that is, what's your budget? Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? With this budget, you're gonna need a genie and a bottle. Coming up. What is your price? Do you have like a, a visual? Zero. <laughs> yes. Yes. Zero. I want it all. She wants it all free of charge. Zero. We went to the florist and my mom and I went and I said, anything but pink. That was my stipulation. I'm not picky. I wanted cream and white and off, you know, off white and and uh, the flowers came that morning for the for the uh, bridesmaids and they were pink. When it comes to married life, it's important to start off on the right financial foot. Who's paying for the wedding? Wayne and I are footing all of the budget, okay. but um, a lot of it we're putting into credits. So... You're putting your wedding on credit card? Yeah. That's right. So you're gonna go into debt for this? And later on, we'll let you know if letting the bank foot the bill left this couple kicking themselves. To go dress shopping for my wedding dress on my own because I didn't want anybody else's opinion. Usually, when somebody goes shopping for a, a bridal gown, they go with somebody else to get a second opinion. I'm not most brides, Wayne. Hello. Why would I get somebody else's opinion? It's my dress, my wedding, my wedding. So, you obviously looking for the wedding dress? Uh, yeah. So, can you describe me like what kind of dress are you looking? Strapless. But will it leave her strapped for cash? I really want rhinestones. Okay. Not too much though, just like a little bit on the top. And I need it like ruffled. And it, it's got to have so, a nice train. Okay. How much is this? Ew. It's a little pricey, but it's really pretty. I don't like pricey. You don't like the pricey? No, definitely not. But this is it's, a wedding dress. It is very beautiful. No. I could have made that for 500 bucks. Well, maybe you should have. Actually, you might really like this dress. Ooh, I like it. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. And the back? I love the train. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That train may just derail your budget. The strapless. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. So let me try I love this. That one. I think this is perfect. Oh my gosh. Isn't it pretty? This is the dress. This is absolute O oh, and it even gives me curves. I love Look it. Look at the back. Yeah. It's gonna take a little more time, but right. get the old. Okay, old I love it. Just simple beading, a little bit of the pin up on the side. This is very yeah. me. This is very Honey Lou-ish. I love yeah. it. What Perfect. is the price? 
Oh my god, you're not gonna believe it. It's 820 only. You know what? We're getting there. It is within Perfect. my price range, mm -hmm. but not there yet. Let's take a look at the dress. I really want this. Like, I want it now. I'll take it for 420. Like, I want How this much? 420. We cannot even get the 420. This well, dress. It doesn't matter. No it's, way. It's me. I love the dress. Uh, I'm it's sorry, money. but it's not possible like that way. I want. Uh, no, I'll buy it now. Like, this dress okay. is waiting here for me. Uh, okay, lucky you. Okay, well. How about you take off 150 from the dress and I'll buy it? No, I can give you 50 off. $50? Only $50? It's not only. Yeah. It's a lot. It's $50. This is like, honestly, mm -hmm. like, I'm in finance, so I know the okay. actual cost of this dress. It's probably like 50 bucks. So I know you could do better. I don't know. Okay, it 150. Oh, come on. This is. Like, <laughs> I'll buy it right oh my now. God. Off um, the rack. Okay. Let's okay. See. Uh, what if? Fine. A hundred bucks. You could do a hundred bucks. Come on, Ali. You're sweet. Look at so that sweet little face. This sweet little face is about to turn sour. Please. A uh, hundred dollars off. Oh my 100 God. A hundred dollars. So hard time. Um, oh come on. This is. This dress is amazing. I love this dress. Okay, I love it. Hundred dollars off. Okay, perfect. See, I told you. You're so cute. I love it. Okay, that's it. Okay. Thank you. So look at yourself. You love it. Yes, I do. This is the dress. I feel so sorry for that sales lady. Why? Did you actually think I was gonna pay full retail price for my dress? I don't think so. You should know me, and you should know me very well. <laughs> We expected to have our decor meeting at the venue, but David had another location in mind. Hey guys, how you doing? Hi guys. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Honey Lou and Wayne, this is our friend Richard, Hello. fabulous Hi. decor guy, nice friend of ours. Nice Thought we'd meet here at a Moroccan themed restaurant so we can get an idea of the possibilities for the wedding. I Looks great. Oh, Richard, exactly. you got some stuff to show us, right? I do indeed. Let's yes. go look at Please. it. Please, perfect. Um, I understand the colors of the wedding are basically right. primarily red, yes. chocolate, and Lots gold. Lots of red. Lots gold. of red. Pretty much everything I brought is chocolate and in your colors right. and stuff in the red. Yes, this red. Uh, Lots beautiful. of shine. Lots of texture, genuine, authentic Gen Moroccan. Yes. I like the patterns of this. It's very intricate. Paisleys. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm just blown nice. away by all this authentic Excellent. Moroccan. So thing. we love it. All right. Yeah. Yes. Now we need to talk turkey here. Ah. <laughs> Uh, the more do, fun you've been to the, Have you been to the venue yet? I have been to the venue. You I was there the just a couple of days ago. I checked right. out the size and dimension, right. length of the hall width, and right. height is obviously critical. Right. And clearly, fabric is, of course, the most expensive part of the whole sort of look. You can have anything that you want. My job, I see it as, you know, making you happy. And the happier you are, the better it is for everyone. What's the bottom line, though, Richard? Okay. Yes. Realistically, I, I, I would have trouble going less than $10,000 doing your whole haul. What? Dollars? Dollars. <laughs> what did you expect to pay with? Belly dances? That's way out of our budget. You're gonna well, have to do a lot you told me that. very clearly <laughs> that you wanted a Moroccan theme, a but gorgeous, you know luscious budget. Moroccan theme. Well, my job is to show you what the options are. But as my wedding planner, you are to keep me on, on well, budget. Well, I know, which is why I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tell you that you probably can't afford the Moroccan theme that you You could have gotten me a more inexpensive designer. You know, every time you ask for something, you always ask for more, honey, Lou. So we need to figure out a way to interpret your theme at a price point that you can afford. What happen. is your price? Do you have like a, a visual? Zero. <laughs> No. Yes. yes. Zero. I want it free all. She wants it all free of charge. Where has, do you live? <laughs> where do David you has planet I live from my own planet. Okay? The, the, the planet, planet honey. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Not my planet. Welcome to planet honey. Okay. Everybody calm. Zen. Think. <laughs> David I'm has, thinking. David Ten has, thousand has dollars. A plan. Zero, zero, zero. Yes. Yeah, David has a plan B. So we can't do this okay, for the David. hall. The hall is impossible. Yeah. What we could do you know how you want to do the photos? Yes, You want I to do. take group photos? Why don't we think about doing a little Moroccan theme for the photos? That Moroccan is a good idea, uh -huh. and yeah. I could work with that. Yes, but, scaling wait, down that but, budget to... Yes. About $1,200, $1,300. I don't want to pay $1,200 for a portrait area, hello? What will you pay? What would you pay? I will pay... $800. That's nice, but what will you get? I want $800 with the nice fabrics and drapery. Listen to me. I will give you for $800 exactly what it is that you want, and I will deliver it because my reputation is on the line here. <laughs> so, that's a deal? Are you sold? 
Are you really It's so painful. Old? It's painful. Welcome to Planet Honey Lou. Population one. <laughs> zero, zero. Coming up. 21,000. 21,000 for food that you don't know if you like, the food you've never had. He accomplished every task set out for him. Sitting and then, you know, I, I, exactly. I believe I was, I tell me where and when I have to be there and I'll be there. And he was perfect I'm, 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 at it. A hundred percent. When making decisions for your wedding, it's a good idea to keep your options open. My job is to show you what the options are. But as my wedding planner, you are to keep me on, on well, budget. I know, which is why I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you that you probably can't afford the Moroccan you thing that you want. You could have gotten me a more inexpensive designer. No, every time you ask for something, you always ask for more, Honey Lou. <laughs> and at the end of the show, we'll find out if wanting more left this couple with less. We totally agreed on the fact that we needed some hot belly dancers for our Marrakesh theme wedding. It was a great idea. Yeah, and David knew some belly dancers, so he set up an audition. Hey, Joanne, we're here. David, how are you? Hi. This is our happy couple and a couple Hello. members of their wedding Lovely. party. Hello. So, what do we have to see? David may have found the belly dancers, but he didn't know about the snake. I don't know, that was breathtaking. That's exactly no. what I was looking for, guys. I didn't have it, like, I had it there, but I know, I like, the snake thing, the snake charmer. I love it. So you're gonna dance with that, right? Yes. At the wedding? Yeah. Yes, David, where? At my house? <laughs> David, just come. She's very gentle. We'll go up and kiss it. No, <laughs> you touch it, Christine. You touch it. Oh, you hold it? David, she'll hold it. Okay, hold it. I hate snakes, but I love it. Does that make sense? Oh my God, does that look at Christine. You Christine? Are so brave. Okay, David, I want this, please. Dance troupe? Yes, I want it. Alone is, is $1,200, and I'm sure the snake is thousands of dollars extra, right? $1,200? The snake is actually $300. That would be 1,500 bucks exact, right? 1,500 yes. bucks. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's Come on, you have to work with us. Work much. with us. Work with us. Well, I think the dance troupe is really, really inexpensive. I think the snake is way too much money. Okay, let's put your personal feelings about my new best I'll give friend. you 300 bucks not to have the snake. David, but I want it. Okay, I want to get the snake and yourself. Well, your lovely ladies. Um, but I can't afford, with everything going on, I can't afford $1,500. I'll pay like... Like almost half, seven hundred bucks for it. What did I tell no you? David, sorry, that's way too low. Yeah. Are you sure you can but do yeah, so? Yeah, I can't go any lower than three for this night. And my troop and I won't dance for. For nothing. Yes. David, it's seven hundred bucks. That's not nothing. It's five people. It's a show. They've got to get there. They've got to get their makeup on. They've got to put their gorgeous costumes on. I know, but I on. want it. But I don't want do it the... for fifteen hundred so bucks. So five. We can do five and three is eight. So we'll say eight. Can we do eight? Oh God. Let's work with eight. Mm, no, that's, that's going nice. really, really low. The most I'll pay nine hundred bucks. Either you guys take it or leave it. Is oh, nine hundred doable? Okay, that's the absolute no. lowest we can go. Yes! Fantastic. This is gonna make my wedding. Is this snake in there? Oh, I love it. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> really wanted Moroccan food at my wedding, so we went with David to the venue to discuss pricing. And that's what you call discussing pricing? Yes. I think you know we're here with a bit of an unusual request today. Uh, Honey Lou and Wayne are looking for something Moroccan inspired, which I give you a heads up on, because these guys would like it, but they don't really have a clue as to what it is. We uh, had to do a little bit of research into to come up with some of the standard formal so this is a bit out of the standard. box for you then? Yeah. <laughs> so what you got? Yes. What do you got for us? So we would have um, an extra course. Usually the couscous is served with a fruit, uh, meat, uh, vegetable topping. Sorry, what is a couscous? An excuse couscous to spend more money.
Couscous is a it's 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 a grain dish. Um, it's similar in texture to rice. I don't know about that. Well, if you don't know about that, then you don't know much about Moroccan food. I honey. don't. <laughs> Let's talk about main course. What, what's what's typical for the main course? Moroccan would be lamb. Do you uh, like lamb? No, I don't eat meat. <laughs> he likes lamb. What are we looking at in terms of a price difference? That's With right. the standard bar and the sweet table would be eighty six dollars. Eighty six dollars. Can that's we? That's not too bad. What do you mean that's not? That's, that's, not, that's not so bad. That's, what is eighty six? That's almost a hundred dollars. That's it's not bad. You got to remember, we're feeding two hundred and fifty people here. Exactly. Well, what's, that's not price bad. That? I don't mind the upgrading. It's it's not a big deal. Eighty six times two. It's gonna be too much. It's almost a hundred dollars per head. Twenty one thousand five. <gasps> Oy, what okay. the heck? Twenty-one thousand. Twenty-one thousand for food that you don't know if you like, the food you've never had. Like I'm, I'm pretty sorry. sure we can do a testing. It's not a matter of. Well, maybe we should try it out before we make a decision to spend. Well, there's no maybe. There's no maybe right if. Twenty dollars. That's person. you're asking. You're, you're talking about spending five thousand dollars more on food that you don't even know if you'd like. Well, if we test it and, and I find it enjoyable, I don't mind forking over another couple of G's. Okay, listen, no if you couple like of it, G's. Yeah, yeah, like if it was your favorite food, I can see doing it, but we're talking about this for food that you don't even, have, the food you're so uncommitted to, you've never even tried it out in a restaurant it, before. It's for, it's for the authenticity That's almost like the entire we're, budget. We're having a Moroccan yeah. theme. No, you could do better than no, that. No, 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 sorry. This is not negotiable here, hon. If, David, if, just if, let no, me listen, listen, do what no, I gotta no, do. No. I want it for 50 bucks. Come on, honey Lou. This is not a Moroccan bazaar. No, we can't do it like that. With specialty items, we're not going to be able to get suppliers. We need to be realistic here. If you want Moroccan, it's going to cost you extra money because it's a lot of extra work and extra cost for the venue. Extra cost means you have to pay more. That's how math works. I don't care what I don't know why I have to suck up the extra cost that they're going to incur. Like uh, Because that's how the real world works. Not on planet honey Lou, it doesn't. It is, honestly, guys, like $5,000 more than what I want to spend. Okay, well then let's talk what we can get at a more regular cost. You've got a non-Moroccan theme menu. Uh, it's $66 a person. Great price. Attack. No, 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 you guys are missing the whole entire point. It's not Moroccan. Yeah, but you can't afford Moroccan. It needs to Moroccan. go with my theme. Something needs to cross that gap. Well, honey Lou, maybe it's time for you to build a bridge. We're gonna cross that gap by you pulling on a credit card and spending more money. No, I'm pretty sure Anna can do something. We've already been through this. Anna, you Anna, know what? you can do something. No, no, no. I no. need to cross that gap and darling, I need your help. Darling, loving you. Give me a second here. We, I think, need to discuss this because mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a bit of a gap here between reality and Planet Honey Lou and we need to discuss this and we'll get back to you. I still want this Moroccan food stuff. Like, I don't care if I don't know what it is. Cost it's still going to Okay. Honey, honey, listen. This is way outside the box for them. They got to bring everything in special for you. But. You have to, and it's way over your budget. We don't have to have Moroccan food for that price. I'm telling you, David here didn't even give me the chance. Because but it's not going to work this time, honey. I know how this works. This is what I do for a living, okay? If you want food that's outside the box, that's a complete specialty item, you need to spend the money on it. And I negotiate for a living, and you're not even giving What's me What's your favorite Moroccan food? Um, kush kush. <laughs> it's called couscous. Oh. <laughs> and you don't even know what it is. Okay. My point is, there's a way of achieving the theme without spending the extra money on food you don't even know that you like. I want Moroccan food. And when you figure out what it is, we'll get you some. Guys, this is not my money, it's your money. You're free to spend it in whatever way you like. I'm here to guide you and advise you. My advice is, you're not gonna get it for less than $5,000 extra. I know that for a fact. Second thing is, you don't know if you like it, which means I think this Moroccan food is a bad decision. Right? Okay. No. So how would you feel about spending five grand extra on this food that you don't even know what it tastes like and your guests are gonna go, ew, there's cinnamon on my lamb. Like, that's not gonna work. People aren't gonna eat their food and you're gonna be out $5,000 extra money. Okay, fine, David. Fine, David. You have a point, okay? Even if I did negotiate with Anna, I'll still be wasting money, and yes. I don't want to do that. Yes. Okay. Deal. Fine. Fine, Deal. David. Fine. Fine. Deal. Sure. Okay. I Let's don't want to spend it if people are just going to throw it in the garbage. Exactly. 
Coming up. Oh my God, I cannot believe you got rugs for $390? Listen, woman, I talked to Richard already and he said rugs were not a part of the deal. I went to give Andrea her engagement ring. I just went into the went into the jewelry store. They pulled out this giant rack and I was like, oh God. And I had no clue looking at all these rings, but I started looking and looking and I just picked one up and I it just hit me. This is it. When it comes to making your wedding day unique, remember, anything additional is going to add to the budget. You need to be realistic here. If you want Moroccan, it's going to cost you extra money because it's a lot of extra work and extra cost for the venue. Extra cost means you have to pay more. That's how math works. I don't care what I don't know why I have to suck up the extra cost that they're going to incur. Like... Uh, because that's how the real world works. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if not being realistic led to some real debt. I really want to surprise Honey Lou with something unique for the Moroccan type style wedding that we were going for. So I took my cousin Alan to uh, a little store downtown to uh, get a few ideas to enhance our theme. Right. My name is Alan. Welcome Wayne. to our studio. Yeah, this is Alan. 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 Hey. Oh, very nice How to meet you. Doing, Alan? Excellent. Yeah. So, uh, what do you have in mind? I'm setting up a photo booth in in my reception hall. So it, it has a Moroccan theme feel to it. So I'm looking for some sort of area rug to accent the booth. We keep uh, our smaller rugs. Oh, okay. Just, okay. Just follow yeah, sure. Well, this is our four by six pile. I think this size would be quite. Yeah, this, this is a good stuff. size. Excellent. It fits your booth, but what about your budget? What do you think of this one? Uh, this, yeah, I could, I could work with this. This would be a, ba a nice backdrop or something. I like the vibrant color. And I like this one. Really nice. What, what's the price on this? This range just starts from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollar range. It's a little bit outside of what I was intending on. Spending because I wanted at least three, maybe even four carpets. Though I didn't think they were they were so expensive. A little too little too rich for my blood. No kidding. At that price, Honey Lou will be out for blood. We only need it for this special occasion, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we do actually rent carpets to movie sets and also uh, commercials. Well, yeah, so right. maybe you should use uh, you should take advantage of our rental. So what's the quote on the rental? Normally we charge twenty percent of the value for the rental, but in your case, Case, it's your special day, we just make it 10%. I like those type of figures. If there's a will, there's a way. So well, I'm more than willing. Absolutely. I'm more than this. willing. And where there's a will, there's a pay. The price of this up by like $1,300 each. So three times 13 becomes 3,900. 10% so of it, 390. So under 400 bucks, you got yourself two bucks for a beautiful photo shoot. No, that's pretty good. I Excellent. think, yeah, I'll go with it. Thank I'm, you again. I'm very thank you no, no. No, thank you. All the best. Thanks. I wasn't really worried when David called us in for the budget meeting. I, I really um, didn't worry about I was that. worried that you weren't going to be worried. That's what I was worried about. Guys, I'm glad to meet with you today because I want to get a sense of where we're at with the budget and also what needs to still be done. All right. right. Wedding dress. Now, where are we at with the wedding dress? I got the most beautiful dress mm -hmm. and I got an awesome deal on it. I didn't have to pay full retail price, which was great. Now, how'd you do that? I bargained my way through it. You bargained with it. We negotiated. We did business together. Is that another way of saying you harassed the sales clerk? On budget or under? Under. Oh, with my dress? Oh, God, yeah. Under. Just on the FYI, I got a surprise for you. I, I got uh, three... Are you talking to me or David? Uh, for you. A surprise for you. Honey Lou. Okay. I got three rugs, three Moroccan-themed rugs for our guest portrait area. Just to enhance okay. the decor, I, I didn't so want it to look too boring, so I just wanted to try to add something. Three Moroccan themed rugs for our portrait area, yeah. but I thought that's what I got with Richard. We didn't. I, uh, we never. We never talked about any type of rugs. It was just listen only, to me. So you never mentioned how, any rugs. How much was this? Three, three ninety. Oh my God! I cannot believe you got. Rugs for $390? Listen, woman, I talked to Richard already and he said rugs were not a part of the deal. There oh my no... God. 
But I do not like surprises. You know this. It's like he gets a kick out of me, like I'm doing, doing it for things. you. It's not like You're I'm not doing, doing it for it. myself. You're doing it for yourself to get a reaction out the, of me. A rug. Yeah, I'm doing the rugs for myself. What yes, am I going to do with this rug? Every decision planning in this whole entire wedding needs to go through me, the mother root of everything in the wedding planning. So do, do you, you do you want do you want this guest portrait area to look bare? Let's move on. Okay. I know you got Honey Lou's ring, Wayne. And Honey Lou, have you gotten Wayne's? Oh, yeah. I got it. Can I see them? Yeah, I'll take this guy. Oh, that is really... Is it oh, nice? it's classic. You can take a peek. Am I allowed? No, 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 oh. no. Okay. Great job, Wayne. Very elegant, timeless. Okay. Which side is which? I don't know. Oops. Just open it. Oh. Do you like it? I think it's uh, very I, I like it. We're learning something to show her. Oh, I, I, I really like it, actually. I think it's... Are you sure? Is there yes. diamonds? No, no, no. There's no diamonds. Let me see this. No, no, no. No, 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 no you're no, not no. allowed to see let me, it. Let me see this. Wayne. Let me see this. Why are you... Wayne, oh, my God. What, 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 what is believe... this? What is this? Why are you... This is not even... You're not even is... supposed to look at it. Do this you want me to This is not even look what mine? we agreed on. I don't, yeah. I don't want this. Yes. You want me to wear this for the rest of my life? Wayne, I'm you're not, not I'm not wearing to, this. Oh my god, now you're getting me upset. You're not, I'm not supposed I am to look. not I am not wearing this. Why not? Because it does not have the diamonds that I requested. This is not what I want. You don't need diamonds, Wayne. This is the way you want to try men, to lock. You want to try to lock me down don't with this? Well, I bought this out of love. So you're gonna wear it. So how many what did you pay for this? It doesn't matter how much I paid for it. How much did you pay for mine? That's you so don't rude. Even know how much I, I paid question. over. I paid how much over did you pay for this? Twelve hundred like, bucks. Like, I paid well over twelve hundred dollars for that. Okay, give this to me, and we will talk about this later. We don't take it around. I'm not, uh, I'm not taking that ring. Whatever. Guys, I don't care how you spend it, but it is my job to tell you how it's adding up. Just don't stir No, 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 that's all I have to say, Nanny Dunn. Stop it. I thought going out on a picnic and going for a meditation was a great way to unwind just before the wedding. That was no picnic. What Dessert. is this? What is this? Tuna sandwich. You know I don't eat tuna. What, what is this one? Wayne, it's tuna. I only got tuna. Why would you only bring tuna? I'm starving here, and you know I don't eat this, this stuff. So what? Maybe this time you're going to try it. I got a different bread. Not, you didn't not, even give it. I don't even it, want that. What's in you, this? Cheesecake. You like cheesecake. Since when do I like cheese? We've been together for over four years since since when I like cheesecake. Wayne, you're being really difficult right How now. How am I being like, difficult? You, you sandwich, know, but you know I don't eat this stuff. you're complaining about the cheesecake. But you know I don't eat you're cheesecake, you know I don't eat dessert. tuna. Fine, then I'll eat it. You're so selfish sometimes. No, I'm not. I'm going to eat it. Just like my, the ring, like, I don't know, the, the ring wasn't even what I wanted, I but it was what you wanted. I can't believe you're even bringing up the ring. You keep getting As everything you want, fact, you get everything. I brought the ring here because I've been carrying it around with me. I don't know what to do with this ring. Why do I don't know like what you were going to do with that either because it's not what I wanted. I wanted something that Wait. had a little bit more diamonds and I don't even see one diamond. But There's it's not so even... you. Okay, maybe that later I can me. put your diamonds. But you I know what? Want, I don't want you later. You wanted two-tone. You wanted want a little later. bit thicker. You wanted... Yeah, more simpler, I didn't. But... I, I don't ask for a lot of stuff, but at least you could have did was wait, at least give me the ring that I wanted. What is your issue with this ring? Is it the material value? Because you paid more for mine, and this is not even half of what you paid for mine. I wanted something specifically for my wedding band, and it didn't so come material. close. A ring may be a circle with no end, but let's just hope this conversation has one. Well, you're gonna have to settle for this wedding band. I, I'm not selling. I, I'm not a person who sells You're gonna have anything. to settle for this wedding band, and you're I'm gonna not, wear it. I'm not about to start. You are going I'm to not. wear this, okay? On, because this it. ring has been picked and bought, and most of all, paid for. I'm not gonna spend another, what, 1,500 bucks on a ring? No. Spend, spend the money, man. Spend the money. Spend the money. Stop <laughs> Stop being like that. Being like what? Like Conscious you're... about our budget because that's all we have? The budget's, the budget's just a benchmark. I, I've said that so many times. When it comes to money, I don't think Honey Lou ever sits on the bench. Thank you. That's what you're going to wear. Learn to like it because you're going to wear it for the rest of your life. No, I'm not wearing this, eh? What are you talking about, Wayne? Where no, the I'm, hell I'm are not, you going? No, I'm not wearing this. Where are you going? There's like dog everywhere. No, I don't, want, I don't want this. What, what are you doing? Wayne! Oh, yeah. my God. No, I need a I new can't, ring. I'm not talking to you. I can't believe you freaking did that. Coming up. I'm waiting for my red carpet to be rolled out. Where's the red carpet? Do I get a red carpet? 
I'm usually very punctual, but for some reason or another, it just uh, it, it took some time to, to get ready, and then the driver was extremely slow. The chauffeur was extremely slow. He didn't slow. want to lose the flowers off his car. Yeah, and he All took right. the he took the long long way around, and uh, yeah. so I, I was there about half an hour late. When it comes to the purchases for your wedding, sometimes you just have to throw caution to the wind. I'm not wearing this, eh? What are you talking about, Wayne? Where no, the I'm, hell I'm are you not, going? No, I'm not wearing this. Where are you going? There's like dog shit everywhere. No, I Wayne. don't want. I don't want this. What? What are you doing, Wayne? And at the end of the show, we'll discover if this couple's spending threw their budget for a loop. The morning of the wedding was chaotic because my bridesmaids were too busy pampering themselves. I ended up doing all the work and I didn't have time to do my nails and that really got me really mad. Guys, how are you guys all got your nails done except for the bride? That's selfishness. Do you know how long this took? 15 minutes. Look how ugly my nails are. I didn't get my nails done. Who did that? Myself, just now, upstairs. Why would you tell me? I have a manicure set at home. Okay, it's done. What's my that? Girl. My girl, Debbie, she's coming here. She's doing your nails and your feet. She's doing your waxing oh and your God. eyebrows. She's coming oh here God. right now in 20 minutes. <gasps> Thank heavens for Tiffany. Hello, hello. I am here. Hi. Thank now? God, <laughs> lifesaver, lifesaver. <sighs> I tried to do them, they're so ugly, oh my God. I didn't know like there was like a 911 service <laughs> for nails. The morning of the wedding went absolutely perfect. Uh, there was no hiccups here, there, or anywhere. All my groomsmen were there already, which was perfect. And uh, yeah, everything just went according to plan. Glad your morning went fine, at least yours did. What time is it? 12.04. 12.04. We have Half like less, than, less than an hour for me to get changed, my eyebrows wax, and... Finish your eye makeup. Yes. I'm going to have a meltdown. Stay pretty today, honey. Stay pretty and breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm waiting for my red carpet to be rolled out. Where's the red carpet? Do I get a red carpet? Was there a red scent left for a red carpet? No, see? Oh, my God, I want to go! Yeah, you're going to sit right here, honey. Oh my gosh, the first time I seen Honey Lou at the ceremony took my breath away. I was absolutely astonished of the way she was looking. She was just so beautiful and it was just the greatest day of my life. Aw, thanks babe. If either of you know any reason why your marriage should not be consummated, let me be known now. Wayne, will you take Honey to be your wife? To live together in holy marriage? Absolutely. Honey, will you take Wayne to be your husband? I do. Honey Lou, from the day that I met you, I knew you'd be the one. I just want to say I love you, and I want to get this done and over with so we can celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> you are the greatest man in my life, and <laughs> you make me so happy, and I give you my heart, my soul, <laughs> till death do us part. This ring I give you as a token and a pledge to my abiding love. Wayne. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. And pledge. And pledge. Of my abiding love. Of my abiding love and respect. And respect. Of what you are. Of what you are. As well as my prayer. As well as my prayer. For what you will be. For what you will be. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to present and introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Wayne Clark.
ceremony was beautiful. The weather was beautiful. The, the sun was out. Couldn't ask for a better day. It felt like I was in heaven. Yeah, no turning back. The hard part, the hard part is done and over with. Coming up. Wait, look at the pretend to it. We're not eating it. No, we're not. Red No, we're not. In no uncertain terms was I told before the reception that I was not to smash the cake into my wife's face. Because it would be the shortest marriage in history then <laughs> if I did. When it comes to your wedding day, it's a game of beat the clock. What time is it? 12.04. 12.04. We have, Half like, less than, less than an hour for me to get changed, my eyebrows wax, and... and finish your eye makeup. Yes. I'm going to have a meltdown. Stay pretty today, honey. Stay pretty and breathe in and breathe out. And soon we'll reveal if this couple can bring their wedding in on schedule and under budget. When we first walked into the reception hall, the first thing I seen was the Sultan's tent. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. A little bit goodness. of Morocco. Here, this is more than I expected. I Guys, isn't this beautiful? Where's the photographer? Let's be the first. This is beautiful, it's gorgeous, David. Right? Okay, Can you so pick your guest, guest booth? Oh, look, the bride sits here, like so. Front and center. The photo tent is pitch perfect. Now, what about the hall? OK, so here's the room, guys. Oh, this is so beautiful. Holy smokes. I don't want to, I don't want anybody touching my cake. Wow. Did you guys, guys, did you see my cake? C is the key word. Don't touch, don't eat. Nobody touch my cake. Swing. Don't do that, because I'm not prepared. <laughs> I love it. Did you see that one? I just cracked a neck. Finally, you have a pain in your neck. Our entrance to the reception hall was amazing. I mean, I seen everybody there. There was a lot of people. And for the first time ever, I felt like, wow, this is it, babe. Like, we're married. This is us, husband and wife. And while the bride and groom made their grand entrance, something else was about to make a gracious exit. Just found out the health department will not allow us to have a live animal in a place where they serve food. Is it because you don't want the snake here? <laughs> no, I, I, I... Are you sure? No, no, seriously. Um, it's, it's, it's like they could, the venue could get closed down for health oh, no. reasons. Yeah. I'm a little concerned because Honey Lou would just went wild for the snake, right? Right. Is there anything else we can do? Uh, I've got a sword in the car. I can do a sword. You always bring it with you. Yes, just in case. <laughs> okay, that sounds good to me. That looks more dangerous than the snake. From a sword dance to Honey Lou brandishing her own sword. Or just pretend to cut it. Just pretend. Wait, we're gonna pretend to cut it. We're not eating it. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Otherwise. I don't want to serve it! Come on, Mama! Come on, Mama, you're making a mess of the cake right now. Okay, fine! I give up! Just serve the giant thing! Serve it! Serve it! Oh my god, I had the greatest time of my life. That was, it was fabulous. fantastic. Yeah. I couldn't have asked for anything more. It was a it was worth, in It was worth every single penny. I'm so blown away. I'm like, pitch me. I can't believe this is like a dream come true and more. Definitely. Right, babe? Mama, I love you. Love you too. Cheers. You may love each other, but will you love this? The original budget we handed David was $22,000. I would have liked five tiers, but the cake was fantastic anyways. Total cost, $519. The dress was so perfect. It was exactly what I wanted. And after negotiating with the lady, I only paid $720. It was unfortunate we couldn't get the snake, but the belly dancers were absolutely amazing. Total cost, $900. 
We ended up wasting a lot of money on the returned invites. The total cost was only $1,000. We owe David a lot. Uh, he made our day special. His fee was $2,500. We didn't go all out with the Moroccan theme, but for the guest photo area, the flowers and the decor, the total cost was $4,050. The right ring was a big deal for me. Total cost, $3,500. It would have been really nice to have Moroccan food, but the food we got was absolutely great, and the total cost for the venue, food, and bar cost us $16,500. Miscellaneous cost for the photography, the hookahs, and the carpets for the guest photo area, $7,209. And what we actually spent was $36,898 which put us slightly over budget by $14,898. Slightly over budget? Yeah, slightly over no, budget. No, it's not. That's like a whole new wedding. Not, not my wedding. Money's made to be spent, you know. What, are you going to sleep on the money? Yes, I would rather sleep on the money where it's safe and warm. The bridal party has danced, the photos have been taken, and the bride and groom look pleased as punch. The only question left is... Is babysitting part of David's fees? Can you recall your vows? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I've broken so many of them. <laughs> he was a forensics, he was an officer in forensics, so basically he took photos of, of crime scenes, deceased people. And uh, so we hired him, because <laughs> we liked his work. Mark.